Hi, I'm Adam Robinson, Social Media Manager at Splash Media. Today we're going to cover an overview of Twitter. We'll touch on the history, a few stats and demographics, how Twitter is generally used, and what value it brings to the personal user and those using it to market their business. So let's start with the history. Twitter, started in 2006 by Evan Williams, was set up to send quick text type messages to others who were also using Twitter. Currently, Twitter is now over 200 million users with over a billion tweets going out every week. It's the seventh most visited site and sure to only increase over time with nearly 100 million users logging in every day. Now, Twitter's not just for kids. In fact, 83% of those using Twitter are over 18. So, what is a tweet? Well, let's take a look here. As we see, it's just a simple message. You only have 140 characters, so it's very short and succinct. You can say whatever you want. You can include links to articles, photos, and even links to video. So how are people really using Twitter? Well, I, I really like to call it the new newspaper. It's a great way for others to curate content, such as CNN. They have a, a Twitter profile where they only put out breaking news. Uh, in fact, so many people are using it today to get news that when the American troops found Osama bin Laden finally, if you were watching the Phillies-Mets game on ESPN, you started seeing a little trickle effect of people uh, reading their Blackberries and people started applauding and after a while there were large chants of Go USA! Go USA! And believe it or not, before any other news outlet, Twitter broke us capturing Osama bin Laden. So it's a very powerful way to stay up on the current news. Now, Twitter is not for necessarily everyone who's looking to be stodgy. It's a casual kind of slang environment, so you can have fun. It's a lot of random thoughts, people kind of saying what they're doing that day. And that's okay. That's what it's for, short messages. But what are the benefits of using Twitter for a personal user? Well, it's networking with those who like the same things that you like. If text messaging is how you send short messages to those you already have in your phone address book, tweeting is like sending a text to those you meet over time that are interested in the same things you're interested in. It's very easy to search Twitter with some different functionalities. There are categories where it suggests Twitter people who like the same things that you do, such as writing. Like we mentioned before, it's a great way to consume articles and build relationships over time. In fact, in my own Twitter timeline here, I follow AdAge, which is just an advertising magazine. I like advertising. If I click on their tweet here, they've shared an article about Leo Greenland, who's a founder of a very popular ad agency. Uh, so I can click on this, and it takes me to AdAge, where I can read that article in uh, completion here. So a very great way for me to find out information. Furthermore, beyond just content, uh, it's a great way for you to educate yourself as you read articles that you're interested in. In fact, myself, I got my career in social media because I was able to read a lot of articles, understand how people use social media for themselves and for businesses, and eventually connected and networked with enough people where I was able to land a job here at Splash Media using Twitter. Uh, it's also a great way to understand what your friends like and uh, connect with people over long distances, perhaps maybe even learning a little bit about another culture as you connect with folks overseas. So Twitter, as you can see, great to use on a personal level, but many times, and you may be asking this yourself, how do I use it? What's the benefit as a business? I, I really have seen some other businesses like Dell or Zappos use that. Well, I really like to think of Twitter for business as the happy hour after the trade show. Much like your personal use, at a trade show and you go to the happy hour, you're mingling with people in your industry. Maybe there's some sales prospects, things like that. You can network with your target audience. Let's take a look at a business Twitter account here, uh, one of Splash Media's clients, Advanced Discovery. They're in the electronic discovery world where they work with a lot of lawyers. So as we're following lawyers on Twitter, we actually can read some of the things they like to talk about, the articles that they share. It gives Advanced Discovery great insight into their target audience, which in the end allows Advanced Discovery to market to them a little bit better. Um, another great way for a business to use Twitter, and this is probably a very important feature, is building up a large community. Now, the larger your community uh, made up of the right target audience, the greater chance you have for conversion, uh, maybe uh, selling them a product. In this case, Advanced Discovery might want to put out 
a link where someone can register for an upcoming webinar. Now that's very powerful. As you build up the right target audience, it's another great way to begin the sales process. So as you can see, Twitter is a great place to start many conversations and build relationships with not only those you know already, but more importantly, those you don't know. You can gain knowledge for personal use and business use, building yourself or your business up to a better place. Twitter is simple, fun, and a great way to show your own unique attributes, whether you use it for personal or business use.